Hi and welcome and this will be a quick guide on how to use Google Meet on your iPad um, which is very useful especially if you need a portable source um, to be able to conduct your meets and it does have you know most of the functionality of um, using a desktop or a laptop version of Google Meets using your iPad and um, so the first thing that we got to do we've got to make sure we download classroom sheet slides and the drive already um, downloaded because that's the only trouble with the iPad you have to have each individual app for each um, thing and then on the next page I have got meets just down the down the bottom there in the left hand corner as well so if I go first to the Google Classroom app uh, so open up um, and um, I've already come on to this class that I want so it's obviously the familiar thing so you just go down your list of classes and then click on the classroom that, that you want. Straight away, it looks pretty similar to what you have on the, on the laptop, um, but you haven't got the uh, the usual Google Meet um, link at the top there, which um, you can usually then just direct pupils um, towards. Um, and that's because um, by default, it doesn't um, have Google Meet um, activated. So you just need to go to the top right hand corner and you see the little cog, which is the settings. Click on that. And it brings you up this screen here and you see that if I scroll down there's one there where it says meet video link if um on there you might it might have none at the moment so what you want to do you want to click on the three dots and yours will say generate new link I can just click reset video link it'll reset and it'll generate a new video link for me and then also just remember to click on this one where it says visible to students in classroom just click that button there like so and then that means that the Google Meet will now be available within the um, within the Google Classroom. So if I just close that down, hopefully you see in the top right hand corner now where the cog was with the settings, there's now a little camera now. Okay, so if you click on that camera, um, it will bring up that screen there. So like I say, you can um you can then just choose whether you want your sound on on your video off obviously i've just knocked my video off um but i've kept the sound on just so the pupils can hear me um you can see there you've got the share screen option there as well so you could go straight into sharing the screen if you wanted to um and you've also got the um the link there the meeting link there which um to be honest with, once you've activated that on the google classroom the pupils will be able to see that that meeting link anyway so um so you should be able to see that they should be able to link into the into this Google Classroom. As long as they're going through the same Google Classroom that you're doing the meeting on, then they should be able to access it as they would do on, on a laptop or anything like you would have done previously. So, so if I click Join... Right, once you've um, clicked the uh, Join button, um, we just need to then um, then have a look at this screen here. So, um, so we've got our screen here so we've got the little red button here which is to end the call you've got and a white one with the camera with the little cross through that's how you can turn your camera on and off you've got the microphone one next to it as well so that one you can sort of change you know change whether you've got your microphone on and off you've got the little hands up button there really right, which is this if someone's got a query they can use that button to um to ask a query and then we've got the one with the three dots here on the end which um, if i just click on that one brings up a couple more options so um so if you got one there you see there's one called in the middle called in call messages if i click on that it brings up this screen here and that's if um, any people want to ask any questions um during the meet so i know on the laptop's a little bit easier because it shows it at the side um so it's a little bit more faffy um but um at least you know you can access their comments right by clicking on that button there um, the next one, so we click back on those three dots again. We've got the other one here, which is um, one that's called share screen. So if I click on that, um, you can see there now, um, if I want to share the screen of my iPad now with the pupils through Meet, all I've got to do is click on that middle option there, which is, which has got Meet on there. I'm not going to click it at the moment um, because um, if I did that, it would actually end this, um, this video recording. So I can't actually click at the moment. Um, because it'll um, it'll try and share you know basically my video will go onto the meet rather than uh, rather than this um, actual video that I'm recording at the moment so um so basically if you click on meet it'll um share you know your iPad so you can share like you know your PowerPoint documents or Google Slides and um, you can then click on your you know your, your OneDrive or you could click on your um your Google Drive as well you can find any document that you want to share so you can add you know 
you know, it might be a PDF, it might be an Excel document, um, you know, a Google Docs, you know, anything at all. You can pretty much share anything off your screen. So anything you want to do, just click on that meet and then you can do that. If you want to stop sharing your screen, in the top right hand corner you can see there's a little red um like oblong shape. It's sort of roughly where the where the battery indicator is on the iPad. Um if you were to click on that, that will end sharing your screen, it will. Okay. So again, I'm not going to click on it now because obviously it'll stop sharing it for this video. But if you did want to um to try and end um end it, then obviously that's that's where you want to click. And what it does then, it'll take you back to your, uh, your just your your Google Meet. So it doesn't end your Google Meet; it just ends your sharing of the screen. So, so it's good to um good to have that there. And then obviously, if you want to then go back and share the screen again, you just click on those three dots again, and just make sure you click on that Meet option, um to share it again. Um, if you want to actually end the actual meeting itself, obviously you can go back into the Google Meets app and click on the the red button to end it. Or word that I just said about that red oblong shake up up by the battery indicator, there will be a little green icon there with the camera as well. So you can always click on that at any point, which will take you back um to to the Google Meets, and then you can then end the Google Meet at any point as well. So, so there's just a really quick guide on just how to use um Google Meets um on the iPad.